Whether you're a brand new handgun owner or you've been owning and carrying handguns all your life, you probably paid a couple of bucks at least for your handgun and you don't want to lose it to somebody with sticky fingers. Plus, if you ask any cop, the number one place that most criminals get their guns is they steal them very often out of vehicles. So in, in this video, we're going to take a look at two very popular options that you can use to protect your handgun from sticky fingers in your vehicle. I'm talking about the Snap Safe, um, this is the Lockbox XL, and the Liberty HD50. We're going to compare these two, talk about the, the pros and the cons of each one, coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, as I said, there are a lot of new gun owners in America right now, and maybe you're one of them, or maybe you're somebody who's been owning and carrying a gun for a long time. But um, I think it's always good to be reminded of some things. And I, I re I'll tell you the reason I'm making this video, by the way, is because I... Um, there's a couple of reasons, and I'll tell you that in just a minute, but I have a good friend of mine that I was in the truck with him the other day, and I noticed he's got this fancy little holder that he mounted in his truck that his gun locks into. So it's right there handy and accessible, right? Well, it doesn't even lock into it. It just mounts there, right? It's a magnet kind of thing. Um, but it's also completely visible from somebody peeking in the window or somebody with a hammer just break the window and reach in and grab it. And I mentioned that to him because... You know, like I said, the number one way that, that criminals, or at least one of the top ways criminals get guns is they steal them very often out of vehicles. So um, well, I got a couple of quick stories to tell you, but before I do, just let me go ahead and say, we're going to take a look at this snap safe, um, which is, uh, this is called the Lockbox XL. This, and then we're also going to take a look at this Liberty HD50, a uh, very similar, the XL is a little bigger than this one, but it's what I happen to have. And a lot, a lot of things are the same about them, but there are a couple of things that are different. And we've also got some different guns we're going to try in here and see if they fit. But how about a couple of quick stories, uh, story time from Brian? How about that? Real quickly, I'll try to, try to keep the rambling down, but I think this is important. And sometimes stories help to drive home the point. So two stories. One of them not too bad. The other one pretty bad. You, you may have heard these before, if you, but if you're new to the channel, I'm, I'm going to repeat them anyway. So bear with me. So first of all, about two and a half years ago, on a Sunday afternoon, broad daylight, uh, my wife was out shopping at the home store, like this, you know, where, where people go to buy home decor stuff. And it was, it was broad daylight in a shopping area. It wasn't in the hood or something like that. And she was in there. She heard someone on the intercom saying, hey, there's a, a white truck um, with an alarm going off in the parking lot. And, and she happened to be driving my white truck. So she goes out and looks, checks, and somebody had broken the back window or broken the front window. Anyway, they broke the window on the truck, the side window, and reached in and, and stole a backpack full of stuff that was in the back of my truck. Um, and it, it was a very expensive backpack that I had on loan to review, so I was supposed to send it back to the people. It's like a $400 backcountry backpack. And it had probably another six or $700 worth of stuff in it, including my Tahoma field knife that I bought from Andy Tran, which really, really made me mad. Because... Look, they were looking for guns. That's what the cop told me. The cop came and said, look, they were probably looking for guns. They broke into seven or eight pickup trucks. They're picking pickup trucks because, for whatever reason, trucks are more likely than not to have guns. And they left about $500 worth of Milwaukee cordless power tools in the floorboard underneath the backpack. So it, it happened fast. These weren't like professional criminals or anything. like that. They were just people with probably had a, a hammer or something to break the window, reach in and get stuff. So... By the way, let me a little side journey here. I didn't have an NRA sticker on the truck. I didn't have a Glock sticker on the truck. I didn't have any of that stuff on the truck. I don't put those kind of stickers on my truck. The only sticker I had on there, I think, was a Boy Scout sticker. So if that's you, you want to show, you know, show your alliances and show all that, you're asking for trouble. Thieves are looking for that stuff. I'm telling you, if they see an NRA, NRA sticker, they know there's a, there's a higher likelihood there's going to be a gun in that truck than if they see a Coexist sticker. Just saying. So anyway, um, thankfully they didn't have, they didn't get my gun because my gun was right here. So anyway, um, but they could have, and if it had been my friend's truck, they would have. So that's story number one. So, um, let me save story number two for just a minute. I'll, so we'll talk about these saves for a minute and I'll tell you story number two and then we'll uh, wrap the sucker up because I think story number two really was, it really is a big deal. So anyway, 
So we're going to start with the Liberty Safe. So this is the Liberty Safe, nice little, little compact safe, and 16 gauge steel construction. By the way, let's just talk about both of these. They're both 16 gauge steel construction. Uh, you can see that the uh, the Snap Safe XL is a little bit bigger. The Liberty Safe is 1.8 inches exterior dimension, uh, thick by 6.5 inches this way, by 9.5 inches this way, and it weighs three pounds. The snap safe is two inches thick this way, by 10 inches this way, by seven inches this way. So it's a half inch longer and a half inch wider and um, about 0.2 inches thicker. Oh, and it weighs six pounds. They say it weighs six pounds. Um, hmm. Maybe, I, I can't tell, there's, this doesn't feel like it weighs double to me, but I've been working out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the MSRP on the Liberty, $25.99 street price, about 20 bucks. For some reason, Amazon's got it for 30. Go Amazon. Um, the Snap Safe, uh, the, the uh, MSRP is 48 bucks, and the street price is about 25 bucks. I think I bought this one at uh, Academy Sports, and I think I bought these on Amazon. I might have got ripped off, or they might have been cheaper then. I don't remember. Both of these meet TSA guidelines for um, storage of a firearm in luggage after you check it and all. You got to go through a bunch of more stuff than just to get in there. But they both meet the TSA guidelines, and they both also are, in case you're living in communist-controlled territory, they are a California-approved firearm safety device that meets the requirements of Penal Code Section 23655 and the regulations issued thereunder. So if you live in California, you probably know all about that. Let's see. Both of these are imported probably from... Uh, the old Chinese people there, but um, they both have tamper resistant construction. They both feature a key access. Uh, they both have a little round keys. Actually, the snap safe has a flat key, and the Liberty has a little round, one of those little round keys. There's a name for it. I don't know what it is. So, anyway, uh, that's both of these, all the specs on them. Oh, that one more spec on them. Let's see. They both come with this cable. And I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down now to the old tabletop here and give you some close-ups, show you how the cable thing works, um, system works, and sh try a few different firearms in there to see what fits and what does not fit. And then I'll tell you the final story, which is a real big shocker, um, and it involves death and mayhem. And we'll uh, wrap this sucker up. So let me uh, readjust the camera. Okay, here's the snap safe and here's the Liberty. So let's just open them up. We'll start with the snap safe, which is smaller. Open it up. We got the cable in here, so uh, let's see. This the way this cable works on both of these is it has like a steel in here, and it just slides in this slot right here, so that when you close it, like so, then it's locked. And what you do with this is you loop this around, say your seat post or something really solid, maybe a, maybe one of those uh, baby baby. Um, car seat hooks or anything, something really solid that's going to be, t take a lot of work to get loose in your vehicle or maybe in a piece of heavy furniture or something if you're using this at home and then you loop it around pull it through like so so it's around you know whatever's around and then you sneak it in there you put your pistol in and you lock it up so pretty simple concept they both have the same kind of cable the uh, Liberty is this cable is Boom, 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 just right over three three feet long, 38 inches long, something like that, okay? So, there's that one. The snap safe also has the same cable situation, the same cable, um, kind of the same way it works, and it looks, it looks like really close to the same thing. This down in there, and this one is, This one's a little bit longer. This one is about 40, 46 inches long, so um, almost 10 inches longer. I like that because it just gives you more flexibility on where you can where you can where you can put the thing. So uh, that's a, pr a a plus to me. So now let's see about uh, what will fit in here. So first of all, uh, a couple of differences in the way the uh, the latches are made. So you can see the the snap safe, the latch itself. It's just a little, a little turning thing here, right? There's a slot right there. And then this, when you turn it, it just it engages in that slot. So, 
pretty simple. Uh, this, so this piece of metal that engages in that slot is about thicker than the it's a little thicker than actually the, the, the box itself. When the Liberty engages, it's got this little hook here, so it also hooks through also hooks through the side, so it's, it's protecting from this way and from a little bit of prime from getting crooked. So that could be a, a benefit for security. But all in all, they both have open corners here, so they're, they're pry resistant, which means along the sides they've got this extra little bar here that sticks up like, like, like so, so you wouldn't be able to get a, anything in between there to pry them. But I suppose you could get something in. If you can wedge something in the corners, you, you, you can drive something in there and pry them. But, but like, and, and I know that people are going to say, well, you know, you could cut these cables with this or that or whatever. Look, nothing is impregnable, okay? Especially nothing you can put in your car. But what this is designed to do is, is to prevent the majority and, and the most common ways that people steal things out of your car, which is breaking your window and grabbing them. So if they grab this and snatch it and it's connected to the cable, um, chances are they're going to leave it alone. Um, at least it's definitely going to, to be a way, 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 way more secure than just sticking it in the glove box, okay? Way, way, way. Did I, did I make that, stress that enough? So, so anyway, let's talk about what kind of guns might fit in here. So first of all, if you got like a Glock 48, a small gun, it's going to fit in both of them, you can see, very easily. And this padding in here means you're going to have to push it down. Let me uh, get my, my key back on here. So you, there's a little tension, you'll have to push it down, but that's, that's with any of these I've ever seen and with any pistol. But the Glock 48 certainly fits in there just fine. How about a Glock 19? A Glock 19 works too because that's my carry pistol and it's completely full and you see you have to press it down and close it but when you do it's closed and it works just fine and it works in either one. A little more room obviously in the snap safe XL but it works. What about some other pistols that you might carry? So what about the venerable <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is it. This is the uh, high point. So high point is a pretty thick, pretty thick pistol. Uh, but you can, it goes right in, and, and the, the foam compresses enough to hold it. So, and we're trying everything in the small one first because if it'll fit in the small one, it'll certainly fit in the big one. Uh, what about? One of the uh, coolest pistols of all time, Browning High Power. So this is about the size of a full size 1911. And it fits, everything good. Obviously in the XL. So in the old hog holsters, by the way, thanks to my friend John, what about a big old honking pistol like the Ruger 5.7? This is a big one, okay? So this is this is the 5.7 in the, oh man, I, I got my doubts that it's gonna fit in this Liberty. Cause this is a big, big pistol. Well, let's just see. And by golly, it's not gonna make it. Well, let's see if I can adjust it a little bit to make it. I don't wanna tear my pistol up trying to put it in this box, so. Okay, it made it, barely, but you can see a nice gap there that, that uh, is, is, is asking for a screwdriver. So we'll take it out of there, make sure I'm not scratching it up too badly. What about in the, uh, it looks like it's gonna fit a little better in the snap safe. Yes, it does, so there you go. Well, that's the uh, snap safe. Lockbox XL and the Liberty HD 50. Let me uh, kind of tell you a quick story and give you my final thoughts and we'll wrap this up. Okay, well, that was a quick look at both the SnapSafe Lockbox XL and the Liberty MD 50. And I gotta say, they both are 
oh, pretty, pretty comparable. One thing I did notice is that the Liberty on the corner where the cable goes has got a little bit of a gap there, you can see, and that might be inviting for somebody to try to put a screwdriver in there and mess with it. But, you know, by the time they got it open, you would probably, hopefully somebody would have come if they busted your window and you got a car alarm, like most, most newer cars do. Uh, the the uh, snap safe does not have that visible gap there, but it's still, I mean, you could jam something in there, something small, so come with outside barking. So anyway, I do think that either one of these would be a great option to uh, keep in your vehicle, keep your, just in case. Look, I don't believe in leaving a, a firearm in a vehicle very often anyway, but sometimes you have to go in a courthouse, you have to go somewhere where you cannot carry your firearm, then don't just stick it in the dash, don't just stick it under the seat. Um, get something like this, 25 bucks, right? This is 20, 25 bucks. Not, not, a, not a tremendous investment to uh, potentially protect not only a firearm, which costs a lot more than 25 bucks, but also to, to, help, to help keep uh, your gun out of the hands of criminals. And, and I promise you one more story about this. This is a story that why it's so, so important to do that. So one of my relatives um, uh, several years back was working for a private security firm in Birmingham and he was an armed security guard and he was on some kind of some kind of privatized uh, fugitive task force I'm not sure wh what it was but anyway he had to go in the office so he left his Glock 19 in in his vehicle when he went in um, I don't know why I don't know the details behind that all I know is when he came back out it was a covered parking with cameras and security Somebody had broken his window and stole his pistol, and all they got on the video was some dude in a hoodie, right? Um, 24 hours later, that gun had been confiscated and as a, the f weapon that was used in a murder. So somebody stole that gun, and within 24 hours, that gun was used to kill another person. Um, so not only will he never get that gun back, it's in somebody, it's in the police evidence locker forever, but... Um, somebody's dead who potentially might not have been if, if that gun had not been available. Now, you know, they certainly could have got a gun somewhere else, but, but man, that's, that's a pretty, pretty heavy duty, duty deal. So, um, it's just, man, it's, it's not something you want to take for granted. And it happens all the time. One more quick, quick story. When I was like 20 years old, my wife and I went to see the Almond Brothers at the Fox Theater in Atlanta. And we parked at this covered parking, la, 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 the whole thing. Um, we came back out. Somebody had broken into her car, and she, she had an old, like a 72 Monte Carlo, really cool car, but not really secure, so they probably could have got in it with a coat hanger, but she left her pocketbook under the back seat and it had her entire paycheck in it, which at the time was a couple hundred bucks. We just got married, or maybe we were about to get married, but anyway, point being, people do break into cars. They have always broken into cars, and one of the number one things they look for is guns, so say it with me, my vehicle is not a gun safe, so anyway... Whether you choose this one, or you choose this one, or you choose a different one, don't leave your firearm unlocked, unsecured in a vehicle or anywhere else that, that, that somebody who doesn't need access to it can get access to it. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Sorry for all the rambling. Hopefully the stories might have driven the point home to you that you absolutely need to protect your, your, your firearm. So as always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Uh, if you want to help support the channel financially, you can go to patreon.com slash survival on purpose. And if you support the channel at $5 a month, then every month we do a giveaway. So you might, you might win something cool. And if you want to make sure you, we can stay connected in case uh, we get canceled because we're talking about guns, you can go to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe, get signed up for my weekly email newsletter. Every single week I'll send you an email with links to videos, links to old videos, any news offers or deals I think you might be interested in. And it will allow us to stay in touch in case I have to move my content somewhere else. So I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name is Brian. You are watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.